All right, YouTube. As we can see, our bloat thrall is just about done. All that's left to do really is kind of uh, finish him off, fill in some cracks. You can see since the last video I've added the uh, bronze color. That's this one here. Uh, to just a few parts of his gun, all the connecting pieces, connecting pieces, connecting pieces. What I'm going to do real quick is finish his metal parts with, uh, where'd he go? Oh, my favorite thing, Citadel Nolan Oil. Makes everything look oily. All I'm going to do is put some healthy globs in all of his cracks to kind of give him a nasty look. I mean, he's already pretty nasty looking. But I just imagine that all the places where the metal parts connect to his flesh are probably really greasy and gross. Make sure we're in focus here. And of course, the gun itself is going to be greasy and gross. It's a sludge cannon, I believe. So I might go back and do some of the awesome glowy green cricks goo. Like in the holes here, instead of just using the black like I usually do. But that's going to be a lesson for me because I can't quite seem to figure out how to do that. Just get all this filled in a little. So that's just about done. He's got uh, these pretty awesome skull teeth. So I'm going to use just a little bit of uh, this shade on his mouth and in his eyes. Because those should fill right in. And look pretty cool. Okay. Now I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to go back and do just one more thing before I call them finished. Well, before I call this video finished. Alright. And we're back. He's really not completely dry, but I'm completely impatient, so I'm just going to press on. What I'm going to do now is something kind of unorthodox. I'm going to mix my paints on this newspaper. This isn't a technique. This is just so you can see what I'm doing. This is just uh, that buttermilk white. The same white I use for everything. Get in close so you can see. What I've got here is the uh, Privateer Pe Press P3 Paints. This is the green ink. Okay. Um, I always advocate getting cheap paints, but there are some that you just can't get cheap. These are about $4 at uh, my game store, my LGS, and um, probably worth it. So this is a little bit of white and just one drop of the green ink. And you can see it makes this turquoise more white. 
normally I would never mix this on paper like this because it's going to dry almost immediately and it's going to absorb into the paper. But I just want you to kind of see what I'm doing here. So what I've got is a nice, very turquoise, just a mix of that green ink and white paint. What I do now, where all these, uh, I suppose they're brass fittings in my world, I'm just going to go over them with this. Maybe not that much. Maybe a little more ink. Just a little bit. Less than that. That's too much. Oh, that's definitely too much. Add a little water to it. So the idea here is that we're going to have um, this corrosion effect. You know what? I'm going to add a little yellow ink to it, too. That's a little better. And you can see I'm doing just barely anything. Because this, this color is so strong, the effect would be really just overwhelming and take over everything. And so we just want a little bit, maybe a little greener than that. A little bit of this kind of corrosion around the edges. That, that's a good one. Maybe here too. So it looks like he's kind of leaking. And, I mean this unit is pretty much made to go into a crowd and commit suicide. Maybe get a few pot shots on the way. So I wouldn't think, thematically, I wouldn't think that the Cricks were too concerned about making him very sturdy and airtight. You know. Certainly, he does not look sturdy and airtight. Do a little more of the cracks here. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have many painting videos, but if you've seen any of them, you probably know I have a tendency to get kind of carried away. <clears throat> that is, I have a tendency to get kind of carried away. I'm gonna try to resist that now. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do, because that's gonna dry very quickly, I'm gonna get a single drop of just the green ink by itself. Well, let me take that back. I'm gonna mix about equal parts of green and yellow ink. Mm, let me take that back. I'm just gonna go with straight yellow ink. Painting is all trial and error. Okay, so this is just yellow ink. If this doesn't look right, I'm going to go back and do it over again. These inks are really translucent, so you can kind of get away with going over them a little more. There we go. It's subtle, right? Focus that close. It's just making it a little bit greener. Okay. I'm trying. 
trying to stay out of your light. See the effect. And I actually got some bronze on his belly. I have to go back and touch that up. For now, I'll just finish what I'm doing. Okay. How's that? How do I look, Ma? There. What does everyone think? Comment, like, dislike, whatever. I'm going to paint his driplet here on my own because it's, uh, I'm having a really hard time with that Crick's goop. All right. So somehow this video ran over 10 minutes again, but I hope you've all learned something and enjoyed or whatever. I'm going to touch him up a little more on my own time and uh, put the final finished product on the channel. All right, guys, see you next time.